Welcome back to Gaming Assembled. Today's part 7 of our Madeira campaign. Thank you for joining us. Before we start, we'd love to hear from you. So like, comment and subscribe to the channel and interact with us on social media. And thank you to Drewy Rude for commenting already. Let's get started. Okay, right, let's jump back in. So, welcome back to North Africa. Uh, this is our Madeira campaign, obviously, as I said before. Um, so, what I've just done, just to fill you in and bring you up to speed, last time we had the rather unexpected success of capturing a lot of land. And so, what I've done off camera is I've done a little bit of vassal management. I've uh, basically handed out, we, we were way over our domain limit by about um, well, double, more than double. Um, and so I've handed out basically titles to all um, our children, essentially. Uh, all bar one, actually, but there's a reason for that. Um, the idea is is that um, the culture of uh, our man here, um, <laughs> our man the Impaler, uh, is very much about, uh, there's a, an emphasis on uh, handing out so let's uh, start again. All right, so welcome back. Um, welcome back to the Madeira campaign, as I said before. Um, so, last time we had the good fortune of gaining a lot of land all of a sudden, which was great. Uh, but what that meant was that we were more than double, I think, over our domain limit. We were, you know, with far too many lands. And so what I've done off camera, just before I started recording this episode, is to do a little bit of vassal management, and I handed out titles. Essentially, uh, our culture, uh, sort of our man here, the Impaler, um, he is of a culture and of a religion that the emphasis is on family and handing out titles and stuff and so in the interest of role playing him and doing what I think he would do um, his culture his religion are all about that so naturally that's what he'd do so that's who I've given out the titles to with there's there's all but one have got some land and the reason I've not given this one is that she's due to inherit these islands here and so I didn't want to give her a county over here as well because once my current ruler dies, obviously the titles will split, and I think it's our son here. Strangely, we're going to... our heir is our daughter, which is a bit weird, I know, but uh, I don't know why it's her. Um, but um, she will inherit, obviously, this duchy over here, and our son will inherit the duchy of Fez, so the emirate of Fez, um, which will mean if if i give a uh, my this daughter here some some land over here in his duchy obviously he'll then control this and obviously i don't want that so that's why i've not given her some land but everyone else has got a piece now last time before we finished we started off uh fabricating a claim on this area here um and there's this one here that we can take as well um, I think, is this the one, let's see, let's have a look at this war, right, so he is attacking this person down here, um, so right, so that's fine, so the idea is, is that we could take this guy on, um, he's not going to allies, he's only got 400 men, he's already at war, so we could look at doing that. So I think in terms of our game plan, we're going to look at capturing these last couple of bits of territories, this one and that one. Um, I don't think there's anyone else. I think our liege over here has just got us then. Once they've gone, he sees that one, look, yeah. He's just down to a barony level vassal, which is in the in the county that he's got. So all our liege will have then will just be that. He's the king of that, basically. Uh, but the fact that he's the king is giving us some uh, protection against this chap, who will naturally, with all his allies, come to attack us and try and take stuff. So, what I'm thinking is that we capture these last little bits, and then I've pinned this guy onto the... Um, the, the board so to speak here the outliner 
and I'm going to keep an eye on him and wait for him to to die basically because when he dies we'll go from being up against someone with 23 marshal to someone who's got seven so and he'll also if we time it right he'll not have all his alliances as well so the idea is is that hopefully should be a, a little bit weaker uh, which I know is not massively stronger in himself to us but obviously with his alliances it makes him a lot stronger and what I'm thinking is that we could then try, possibly, and just sub subjugate, because what I can do, look, is if I can subjugate him, we gain all that in one move. Now, obviously, we'll need more prestige to do that, but we can work on that, and we need him to not have 6,000 men, which, obviously, is why we need to wait for him to die. But if we can do that and take all his land in one, one foul swoop, then that would be amazing. We'll have all this then, and I don't even know, I don't know if that's, is that enough for, it's not enough for an empire, but certainly enough for a kingdom. Um, enough for, yes, the full, the full kingdom there. The uh, full du jour kingdom that we're after. So that would be, that would be brilliant. That would be our, our liege's du jour lands and therefore our du jour lands. So that would be a brilliant way. So let's crack on. So let's start off with let's put our rally point just there and let's start off with a nice little war against this chap take his lands except we can't because we need more prestige what can we do we've got some money let's have let's go on a hunt what's this council invitation um spy master yeah that's a really good idea uh, <laughs> oh, if only. I mean, he's just begging to be killed, isn't he, basically? But um, who is his heir, just out of curiosity? His heir is the guy who uh, we're um, going to take the lands of. So, and he's got only just more military prowess than he does. Um, but yeah, there you go. So, okay, well... <laughs> ask for pardon I don't think so right so uh, let's go on our hunt we'll get our prestige and let's speed this up again bestow royal favor oh, hang on what's that you gained bestowed royal favor so we're getting more oh he's even he's giving us prestige that's perfect that's just what we wanted um, he's bestowing he's trying to suck up to us now so he knows he's in trouble right uh, felling a beast. You think a creature from, uh, you would think it, it a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest wolf I've ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It is still an imposing sight lying dead before me. Uh, and right, what can we do? So we can have a hunting trophy. Um, and that would give us stress because we are humble. Let's just find us. There we are. So we are humble. Um, it, we could give it as a hunting trophy for our daughter. So that would make her like us more, which she already likes us pretty much anyway. We could get a weak hook on her. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I think our guy would do that one because he's a bit of a sneaky sort of schemer sort of fella, as you can see there. So I think he'd want to get something out of it. I don't think he's particularly bothered about the hunt. I think he'd want to get something out of it. So that's good. So what can we do with that hook? We could... Can we modify her contract anymore? No, we can't. Well, we'll hang on to that. Um, maybe we can... Can we get any money out of her? Demand payment. That's what we could do. There you go. Lovely. 50 gold. Perfect. So, we return from the wild hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the hills behind as the servants prepare the wolf and other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. And we return home re reinvigorated and we've now got enough prestige to fight our war. But what's this? Petition leaves now. Nah. Um, we'll look at that in a minute. But let's do this first. So, declare war and raise our troops this chap as yeah it's only he's, he doesn't stand 
a chance, does he? Uh, right, and so that's my claim on the one next door. Let's see that done. Let's go. Um, so let's go over the border and we will just siege this down. While investigating for my liege, I have uncovered a secret held by Ali, the steward of Prince Kazim of Tamaz Tamazna. He schemed from the shadows uh, to have her murdered. Okay. So, is that this, this dude? Yes, it is. So, um, let's get a hook on him then. Oh, it's a strong hook as well. Blackmail, and we can get a nice little bit of gold out of him. Um, can we do anything else with him? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else to be done with him. He's not anyone of any particular import, but he has gold. And so we'll take a little bit of gold from him. Every now and again, we can keep doing that. Let's have a look at this while we're at it. Let's have a look. Petition him. I don't think... Well, let's have a look. We can increase... Control is one of the things that we struggle with with this game. We've got lots of lands and we're not very much in control of Mostrum. So let's do that. Uh, I'm escorted to Sultan... Yeah, yeah, yeah his throne room uh, where he beckons for me to approach and address him. Carefully describe the problems my fiefdom faces... Res Resistant to my authority and beset by vagabonds and request assistance in restoring order After listening to the speech he sits in silence for several moments as he mulls my petition over Eventually he addresses me You make some good arguments but if I am agree to your request I will need something in return Surely you would see uh, you see it would benefit both of us to come to an arrangement So I can give him some gold uh, no, he, yes, so I pay um, him some gold, and he gains some opinion of me, I gain some control, there's no, I don't want to um, have any hooks or anything, so yeah, it's just a bit of, bit of gold, lovely, that'll do me, so, um, Let's just have a quick look at that then. So it's not quite as dark red, so that's something. But we'll have to work on that because that is a particular problem for us. 62, 62, 35, 1, 40. I mean, hopefully the fact that we've handed most of these lands out will help, um, you know, their own stewards, their own marshals even can sort of hopefully get a bit of control going might as well set her off um, getting some uh, you know getting changing the the religion 17 years it's gonna take a while but we'll do that anyway um, so we are besieging him down nicely oh, there we go there's the battle and there's the battle done so, unexpected visit. With my mind set on a relaxing evening, I am heading for my daughter Aquajeta's chambers with some violet shaba and a chess set. Without knocking, I push a door open. And she's seated at a desk writing furiously. As I clear my throat, she jumps out of her skin and quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into her pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look on her face. So... What were you hiding? Show me at once. Uh, return later and search the chambers in secret. Respect her privacy. Well, I think that's what we'd do. He wouldn't demand. He'd want. He'd do the sneaky, sneaky way, and we've got a hundred percent chance. <coughs> Excuse me, hundred percent chance of succeeding. So we'll do that. Uh, as I rummage through her things, as she sleeps. Um, the sedative I put in a violet shower sure did the trick. Within minutes I found the piece of parchment she hid from me. It's a list of foods and drinks and many familiar names, including that of my favourite troubadour. It seems that she's planning a surprise uh, to surprise me with a feast. Oh, that's nice. I will act like I had no idea when she reveals the surprise. 
Excellent. Um, can get a payment from her. She's not going off yet, so we'll wait. Um, negotiate alliances. It's just our family members. I suppose we could do that, and then they'll not plot against us. There we go. We'll do that. Um, so... Gesture of appreciation. A mischievous smile is playing on uh, daughter's lips. I know I've acted strangely as of late. For that I apologise, but a good reason. Okay. Leads me to a great hall. Pushes the door open. Someone starts playing a jolly tune. Oh my, the decorations, the smell, and everybody is here. It's a feast in your honour. Let me get you a cup of spiced wine. Very nice. Got some nice prestige out of that. Let's have a quick look at our prisoners before we carry on. Is there anybody that we can do anything with? Um, let's see. You've got quick. That's a good trait to have. But you're not particularly of any use to me. Um, you are a novice physician. You might be useful. I don't know what our physician's like, but we will recruit you. Let's see, who else we got? Oh, we've got his son. Didn't realise we've got his son. He's not got much gold, so we'll hang on to his son. Um, we've got his grandson as well. And we've got half his family. So, okay. That might be interesting. I mean... The idea of uh, if we recruited and converted some of them or something like that, but I don't know. Could hang on to his family at least. Might motivate him to be, uh, be alright with us. But there we go. So this is done. That war is finished. There we go. We can... Oh, there you go. We can get some money out of him. Lovely. And I think they've still not got enough, so that's all good. Right, so that's that war done. Um, we will move our rally point to the other side, and we'll do the same with this one, and then we'll hand the titles out. He's got even fewer troops, so that's all the better. There we go. Let's go and take that. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned several different opportunities I can pursue. Great potential. Okay. So, heard rumours of a lost tome rediscovered. So we can potentially get a good artifact. Um, can get a weak hook on her. I think I've already increased her... Yes, so I'll not be able to increase it again. I could get some gold out of her, but she's not got a lot. Uh, or I could just get more gold straight out. Hmm. Well, what would he do? I don't think he'd be that bothered about the artifact. We've not got a throne room to put it in anyway. I think he'd just go for the gold, I think. I mean, we'll go with that. Brill. So, get this one. And we've got more royal favour, have we? Excellent. Stolen keg. I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my grandson. Um, so, two grandsons. They stole a whole keg of mead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he drank himself into near oblivion. How old is he? He's nine. Well, there you go. So, what would we do? Would he be temperate, would he be diligent, or would he be gregarious? Well, I think, well, my guy's gregarious, so I think that's what he would do. He would say, that is the way to do it. So, again, a bit of stress, but that's all good. Alright, tre my treasury is brimming with gold and silver, and all expenses are cared for. As a wealthy lord, I am expected to offer patronage to some kind of artist or scholar. As luck would have it, three potential candidates have uh, just arrived in Algunak. Hopefully I pronounced that right. 
but do any of them impress me? So, beautiful gardens, um, religious art, natural philosophy. Oh no, I've got other plans for the money. Now that would give me stress because that's not me doing what I should be doing. Um, he's humble, so he doesn't want amazing gardens. So that limits us to religious art, which would give us clergy opinion and piety, or learning and development growth. Well, I don't think he's particularly religious, our fella. Um, I mean, he's, he's, I suppose he's humble, which is something. So maybe go for that one. He's not particularly a, a learned fella either. Maybe we go for that one then. Oh, what's happened here? With the fall of the settlement of Mickens to Emir... Oh, right, we've been raided, have we? I didn't spot that. Oh, there he is. Yes, he's raiding us. Okay, so curse the meddlesome savages or pay a weir guild for the for the lost. Hmm. Well, he's vengeful. I think he'd just go curse them. I guess. Has someone been captured? Not sure. Ooh, murderer. Well, it's not good that he's raiding us. We'll have to uh, have to deal with that moving forward. The problem is I've not really got the troops to to face him. Can't really do much about it. I'll get fifty gold out of you. Another ten. And another ten. Any more? Who else can I ransom? Uh, no, these are from him now. Alright, so he's worth fifty. So now we'll hang on to you for a bit. Any any worth ten? Now they're all worth fifty, so we've got scope to get some money out of our our liege, but uh, for his sons and grandsons, but not yet. Let's wait till we've got, he's actually got enough money to pay us. And what we will do is we'll do that there, take that, and we just don't have the men to face him. So I think, unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do is just disband my troops. However, I can't. So I'm going to have to try and get out of the way, because otherwise I'm going to get properly stack wiped if he comes at me. Okay, why can't I disband my troops? Is it because I'm being raided? Is that what it is? Hmm. Who are you? Player air. Okay. Let's have a look. Are there any alliances? Let's just turn that off. Any alliances that I could get? Um, could be one of his secondary spouses, but I don't like the idea of that for my player heir. Um, although that would give my line a direct claim on that land, which is in my du jour. Oh, so we'll do that. In fact, um, it's in my du jour territory. And uh, I know I could just take it and revoke it at some point, but we'll do that. Keeps me in good with the uh, with my uh, my vassals. Um, Five hundred men short. I'm a bit worried about that. tempted to sort of just try and just beat him but I'm a bit concerned that I wouldn't manage it so his mots what's he got cavalry light infantry 
Hmm. Well, we can give it a go. We'll see if we can see if we can fight him and see if quality will outweigh. No, it's not going to work. Fallen Sun. Oh dear. News from the dry lands of Ma Maz Mazgan finally arrives in the hands of an exhausted messenger. I know immediately that something terrible has happened to my son. Uh, there, there amongst the dispatches it reads that our brave Sheik Rinin Rinima was killed leading attack against the Marrakeshi heavy horsemen. He was slain by Shumuel, uh, champion of the Emir, uh, in a fierce encounter. I could not have saved him, but no parent should outlive their child. So, he had a son. So, he's inherited that. So, my grandson. Um, right, so, well, my guy is... Um, Vengeful, so he would definitely go with that. He'll not get away with this, so we'll go with that. Um, what would my guy do here? Um, could do frozen grief. Um, I don't think he would be a confider because he's sneaky, sneaky, stabby, stabby. He could take up drinking, he's gregarious, so maybe he would do that. Um, I think my troops are going to get slaughtered here, so I think we ought to try and pull them out. That was obviously a a bad move. Didn't work. Can I disband them at least? Yes, I can. So I'll just have to put up with being raided for now. Um, so I can, however, I've got a there. Yeah, right there we go. We'll increase his levy contributions. I can demand payments. What have I just done there? I've just closed it. She's not got enough. Neither has she. So, we've now got more lands than we can handle again. So, we've got these over here. We've got, right, so we need to get rid of half. So, we can get rid of some of these. So let's see, have we got any family members left who hasn't got any? So how does that change things? It doesn't really change anything, the fact that he died. Um, so what duchy is this? This is Marrakesh. Emirate of Sioux. Okay. Well, I could... I could give this to the daughter that I wasn't going to give land to before because although she'll get that and she'll also get that at least that means that there's more still under under my home duchy so to speak um, what else we got up here so this one is part of Marrakesh so again I could give land I don't think there's anyone else really. Um, let's see, how about Ugh, Compassionate Craven, Herculean. Well, that's great, but who is. Has she actually got any lands? No, she hasn't. I've not given any to my heir yet, so I suppose I could do that. Um, that might mean I get to keep a little bit more. Can I give any of these to her? No, I can't. So. Right, so that's not going to work. Um, so, let's have a look. I suppose I could give some to our grandsons, but uh, it's not massively going to help. Um, what else could we do? I think we've given everything to anyone else. So, what about... She's the eldest. Why don't I give some land to her? Can I give it to her? Yes, I can. So I'll give that land to her. Um, so my granddaughter. We're on to grandchildren now. Um, and we can give a territory to her. And that puts us back in our limit, which is good. Right. So uh, we should be able to get a little bit more out of them. Go with that. 
So we've now captured all these lands. Um, this chap is still kicking, he's 61. So let's see. Perhaps it's time for us to try and make a move on our, our liege. His power is somewhat limited. He's only got a thousand men. So we've still got more. We've got 500 gold. Let's see what we can do with that. Now we need more prestige. We could do that. Let's, let's go for a feast. And then we could go on a pilgrimage perhaps. Maybe we do that. Um, and cheery gathering. What I need is for that fella to die. And that will really help. Um, everything I could to ensure that these people were as far from each other as possible. So this is my marshal and my liege. <laughs> They're fighting. <coughs> so I think... <laughs> I think we'll look at doing that. We'll uh, insult our liege because it's not going to like us very much anyway. Uh, plate after plate of food is brought into the great hall. An unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile that my graceless liege um, is sensitive to almond is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I, I bid you all welcome and I pray you find the food to your liking. Okay, and he has a bad reaction to food, so a severe penalty on his health. Why not? Ooh, or I could get a hook on him. But that wouldn't be... My guy's vengeful, so we'll go with that. I gained a rival. Excellent. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It's all gone bad. Uh, feast is still raging, so we need more wine. There we go. So, and I've gained Eager, Revel, Eager Reveler, which is good. Right, so, um, we've got enough prestige. We could build something on here. Gathering halls, get a bit more, some more levies, more prestige growth, control growth, etc. So that is good. Um, and let's see how much money we got left. 332, let's see. What could we do with that? We could look at increasing... Does this go with prestige? It does, doesn't it? We could look at swapping them out, in fact. Because what are they good at? They're good at forests. Right, none of the lands are here. So we've got our Volta infantry. Let's swap them out. Destroy that regiment. Let's create another. And we'll look at adding some horsemen, I think. We'll wait till our prestige gets up a little bit more. Uh, I'll tell you what, we could go on a pilgrimage. And let's see. <laughs> I can go on a pilgrimage to Madeira. And it costs me 50 quid to go to my own territory. Um, it's not a massively... Um, <laughs> it's a short pilgrimage, yeah, I don't even have to leave home. Um, so, short pilgrimage, temples in Tunis. Takes a bit more money, let's do that. So, let's see what our pilgrimage gives us. As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of the gods. My destination lies far from home, but in service to Aguer, even my own realm must wait. It's time to depart. Loss of companions. For every week that passes, my fellowship grows e ever smaller. Some have gone as far as they can before the need to return home overtakes them. Others have met with less, fortune, uh, met less fortunate ends. Most worrying is the fact that my group of personal guards is thinning, at an, uh, thinning out at an alarming rate. The fact alone shows that my treacherous, how treacherous, uh, what a treacherous journey this can be. Um, can't speak today. So all I need is the protection of the gods, so that gives me piety and improves my diplomacy. 
uh, or I can hire foreign guards. Stress because I'm humble. Well, it's got to be that one then, hasn't it? Um, we can get a uh, what's this? Child opinion. Oh, most definitely child opinion. Considering most of my vassals are my children, so we'll go with that. The more the merrier. I am plodding along in this lengthy procession towards Tunis and thinking of the comforts I left behind in Madeira when I hear my name shouted from the rear. My friend Faya dashes up to me and exclaims, Emir Massenson, what luck that we journey towards the very same holy site. Isn't that coincidental? Uh, would you care of some company on this long, lon long, lonely path to Tunis? I've been to Tunis. Um, but anyway, um, so... Ear is always open to a friend. Well, my guy is gregarious. I think he would do that. Let's do that. The more the merrier. Spend the remainder of the day's journey chatting about this and that. Intrigues and jests, battles and lovers, old friends and new. And we are in the midst of a riveting conversation about parties when the, when the train of folk we have been travelling with suddenly comes to a halt. A tired shout comes from the head of the column. We make camp here. Freya looks over at me with a sly grin on her face and says, Finally, although how about a short detour before setting up camp? A long day's journey can make a woman thirsty. Liquid refreshment sounds divine. You go on ahead. Well, my guy is a bit of a drinker and a reveler now in his uh, semi-old age. And it's his daughter after all. So, go for a drink, eh? And she's a bit of a, an alky as well, with the looks of things. We make our way into the packed tavern and Fair immediately orders us two cups of spice wine. We sit and listen to the minstrel's tale and enjoy our drinks, talking intermittently of, life, uh, of life's woes and triumphs. Um, refreshing after a long day of sweating and tolling uh, on the road, I raise my cup and shout, a toast to my friend Fair's health for suggesting such a fine respite after today's journey. The tavern raises their cups in celebration of my fine friend and everyone drinks deeply. The next round is on me. Well, he's a reveller. Why not? This is going on forever, this event. Um, after perhaps a few too many rounds of tea. Tea? Really? Uh, Fair and I inspire our fellow uh, tavern goers to a chorus of drinking songs while we mark the beat uh, on the, upon the tables. Uh, when a crash of more splinters than I could count, uh, care to count, we, uh, trumble through the floor into the wine cellar, bravely adventuring where few men have gone before. All our fellow merrymakers stare down at us from the main floor with mixed emotions of concern and, I don't even know what that word is, shed and feud. Um, they are obviously looking for a report from the cellar. Tea for everyone. Okay. Well, yeah. Reveler, drinker, go for it. While not so quietly... Sorry, we not so quietly make our way back to the camp, praying earnestly that everyone has long since gone to bed. Coming upon our tents, we see the fire is still alight, but not a single thing is stirring. The campfire seems to have been fed directly before our bed uh, to keep the chill out of our beds. So, such kind and thoughtful traveling companions we have. And so my daughter is now my best friend, even though she's a bit beaten up and a bit, <laughs> a bit injured now. New claimant, okay. Right. Till death to us part. Is that my last wife? No, it's our main wife, though. So, walk to Holy Path. Got a load more piety. Excellent. Um, oh no, it's not our main wife, it's just another one of our secondary wives. There we go, we've got too many of them. Anyway, so, might as well carry on down that route. So, I'm thinking that for now, we perhaps leave that there. Um, it's a bit of a, we've expanded a little bit more, and I think next episode, we will look at trying to take his throne 
Um, we've still got a truce with him, so we can't do much more than that for now anyway. So how long's left on that? Two years left on the truce. So can I do a... No, I can't do any things like that. So I need more prestige anyway. So I think I'll claim Lee's title. So I, yes, I need I need more prestige to claim his title. So, but if we can do that, then that'll be good. But I think what we need to look at doing is trying to subjugate this fella. Um, we could look at trying to murder him. That would be a quicker way of trying to kill him, trying to get rid of him. Um, my guy is sort of stabby stabby after all. Um, so, ooh, hang on, can be convinced. There we go, bribe you. So that'll give us a little bit more and support schemes. Have we got any better spy master? My daughter and vassal. Who is this fella? Just randomer. Okay, we'll do that. So we've got a little bit more out of them. Let's have a quick look. So you, that one's a powerful vassal. Powerful vassal, powerful vassal. Okay, so we're all good. Um, so we could also do that and that'll help possibly as well so what does that put us up to oh we're we not back yet i thought we were back that, there you go that puts us up to 80 so she's come of age that's great so we'll hopefully try and shuffle him off the mortal coil that little bit more let's see if this works seven months let's just see what happens see if we manage to get him because if we can kill him that would really make a big difference uh, stolen keg that's that event again we've had that um, it's not temperate I think we go with that one my guys is certainly not temperate with his booze curse undone oh he's died so now it's that fella he's our liege now what happens there? Do I still need all that? I only need eight, uh, 647, so I don't need quite as much prestige now, so that's good. Um, yeah, well there we go. Never mind. Right, so let's just see if this fires and this gets us um, a... Uh, oh, we can get some more money. Uh, becomes my ward. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, let's make you a priest. Someone who's not really going to be much of a threat to me. Um, excellent. Lovely. Uh, right, so, time for some good old-fashioned mob rule. I know I've said I was ending, but I didn't. But did it do it? Right, I survived the attack of the peasant horde. Uh, they've confessed my involvement. Whoops. Spy master. Yeah, fine. Okay. Well, that didn't go so well. We didn't quite manage to get him. That's a shame. Um, could try and abduct him. Yeah, why not? Might not work, but... can convince her to help. Once again, getting down as money, but never mind. That might help, but we'll work on that next time. So for now, uh, we'll leave it there. Next time, we're going to try and get rid of him one way or another. Um, and uh, try and subjugate this land. We'll finish off our liege. And then things will be going nice. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.